Right guys, we're getting ready to go on a little road trip down to Tennessee to pick up a new piece of equipment. Alright guys, it's Clinton from CNC Equipment. Welcome to the channel. Um, we've got a uh, machine we're going to go pick up down in uh, West Tennessee today. Well, actually tomorrow. I'm getting ready to swap trailers. We've got to get our taller trailer. First thing, I want to check the uh, oil and some fluids on this truck. Actually just went to Pennsylvania a few days ago. Come back late. I need to double check everything. Right on the full mark. So I bought some equipment at auction in uh, western Pennsylvania. Coolant looks good. So we're going to pick up a uh, international, actually it's addressed to 175C track loader. So it's uh, a little bit over height on my yellow trailer. If you guys can see that back here. Um, it's got a cab on it. It's actually got an air conditioner on it. So it makes it too tall to haul on the shell trailer. So we're going to go up and hook up to the uh, black trailer. Little boy. First thing we'll do is fire this truck up and let it build some air up. So, yeah, it's a, about a 35,000 pound machine. Like I say, it's addressed to 175 seats. Actually, about the last year they made them, 2003, they come out with the design in 1972. So, it's pretty old school design. It's actually only got like 300 original hours on. It's ex military machine. So, I'm going to fire the truck up and let it build up air here. And, uh, We'll get this trailer unhooked and go get the other one.
You sure everything's looking okay? Good time to do it while the trailer's off. Think of you, I hate to see how much that cost me. Got the old trailer hooked up, checking the lights. I might have this out for a couple, three months. Making sure everything's okay. We'll check the tires. I did just uh, do an inspection and service on it a couple months ago. Checking the lights. It's all looking good. Looky there, there's a pair of pliers laying up here. I wonder how long this has been there. Uh, you can see where they've been laying and rusting. Been there for a while. I think we've done that service and greased it. I drove it home from the shop and it's not went anywhere since. So that wouldn't be good if we lost those. All right, side marker lights working. I think we're all uh, good to go for the morning. Plus a set of needle nose. All right, guys, I'm going to take off early in the morning. It's about a five and a half uh, hour drive down there, I think. So I'm going to be pretty much uh, timed out on my time for sure. So uh, I'll probably catch up with you guys once we get down there in the morning, hopefully. I don't know what kind of place this is. Hopefully they'll let us uh, film where we're picking it up at. You guys get something at least we'll get uh, something back at the shop when we get back here. But we'll see what's up in the morning. So I'm going to head out probably 5, 4, 30, 5 o'clock in the morning. Try to get down there on Central Time or on Eastern Time. So try to get down there about 9 o'clock their time. Um, something around here i don't know so anyway that's gonna be it for tonight i will see you guys in the morning
right guys we're in the Kentucky scales here in 924 we got the scale house in the left lane the center lane's bypass the right lane over there is a truck inspection station so they pulled one guy off there on the right side to uh, do a quick roadside inspection they got a pit in the floor to get underneath nobody's going through the scale house That's it. So we're going to head on down to Tennessee and go pick up our track loader. So, so there she is. Found her back here in the back. Supposedly it's got 300 and some hours on it. Looks like it's gonna need a jump. Don't clean the tracks out. It's a crack in the bucket. And try to get her loaded up. Check a couple fluids. Get any trees. This actually has a 12 valve Cummins in it. Good on oil. Alright. See what's going on in here. Assuming the batteries are dead. Sounds 24 volt.
Sound like it's low on a hydraulic oil. There's a freaking knife.
you checking my uh, air pressure gauge. I'm sitting just a click over 65, about 67 or so. Which I know 65 is my legal limit on these drives. So I'm going to pull the tractor back a little bit. We should be good. A big old hydraulic leak. Probably going to pull it back and roll a bucket back against this and call it good. He's a leaker. All right, guys, well, I got her all loaded up, got her pulled back a little bit. Um, I think I got the weight right on, on the uh, truck. I think I am going to put the rear axle down. I should be all right. It's super close. I can only haul about uh, 30, 37 five without getting a permit. This thing weighs 35,000. So just in case we're a little bit over somewhere, I'll be on the safe side. You can't write me a ticket. So if I got that axle down, um, I'm going to get the rest of this thing cleaned up. I'll get some chains thrown on it. And we'll be ready to hit the road. All right, got her all chained down. I got one more extra chain than what I needed by law. This machine weighs like 35,000 pounds, 34 something. So that means I got to have half that in the uh, chain. So each uh, one of these points is 6,600. Uh, so I got 6,600 there, 6,600. Another 6,600 on the bucket that's required to have one over the bucket. That should get me by, but, a, but I put an extra one on the back just in case. So no questions about that but all in all i think it's looking good got to thinking about it i'm gonna raise this axle back up so i get out of town it's kind of tight around here when i put all three of those axles down the center pivot point will be in the middle when i pick that one up that center pivot point will move up four foot allowing me to make a uh, tighter turn so by picking that one up it's going to make a little shorter distance getting out of town because this trailer it is long it's like 53 foot so but yeah it's a clean old machine it needs some work it's only got like 300 and some original hours on it but notice some cylinders they need replated things been sitting more than it's been working so i think it'd make a good track loader i'll probably yank that cab off here because those things are just so hard to see out of um but i used to run one of those were real little dad had a couple of them Run them a lot, so we may keep it around. We may have some projects for it, but I'm gonna get uh, truck started up and start heading back to Indiana. You guys can ride along with us.
same thing here. They've got three lanes. The left lane's the scale, center's bypass, the right is actually inspection shed. So we've got an arrow right now telling us to go into the center lane. Flip a light on up here and make a circle back. Sign up here says exit, so the old shop here it's been a long day i left at uh, about a quarter till five this morning and it is uh 5 30 now i actually stopped at john doing got some parts on the way home so in the morning i head over to the uh, new shop early we'll get that dude unchained and unloaded you definitely uh might want to stick around and into this video i got something cool going on
the truck unhook there all in chain. One thing we're gonna do for we're gonna back this dude off. I know the track was really loose. You see all that slack in there. Find a grease fitting? No grease fitting. Got to be one in there somewhere. And try to tighten the track up on it. All right, I'm trying to find a grease fitting, tighten this track up. I think this idler's so, so far back, it's underneath this shield here. So I'm not gonna bother taking that off right now at the moment. We'll try to get her off the truck. Hopefully, being the chains are new, they're tight enough, they'll stay on there. So I'm gonna get up here and try to jump it off again. And we're gonna pull it forward a little bit because these chains are actually bound up to uh, get them unhooked. Yesterday when I shut it off in the trailer, I had to uh, actually mechanically shut it off. The kill was kind of sticking out, so I'm curious to see if it will start up. Hence the broken glass of everybody's done it. Is it a latch or not? Well, it would. It looks like it's catch. No, it should be good. Right here or what? It's open. It ain't catching here. about breaking the window anymore. There's not much hydraulic oil on it either. Alright, it's over there. Let's get on the one post. Let's see what kind of batteries those are too. I need to order some. I had to um, kill right. it yesterday. Yeah, it's. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Is the safety lever up? Disconnect on? Nope, that might help. Here we go. I'm going to have to do a full fat switch up. Freed up sitting around. What'd you get that WD40, Kevin? Okay, I'll put it over here. I need to get smashed. It had lots of lube on it. Dad's gonna back it off. I got a boom lock in it there. Hang on. Yeah, you're good. Straight back. The shut off cylinder and the pump is sticking yesterday, and I got it shut off. It was still sticking today. So. brain 
brand new though. Thick if you sit. Tracks are popping because it's loose. Take it easy so you don't throw that track off. Shut off like it's supposed to. You shut the disconnect off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these have electric fuel shut off on the pump and it was all sticky from sitting and it's got the 12 valve Cummins in it. My Harbor Freight jump pack come to the rescue again. Paint looks like brand new under there. This cab took off. Yeah, I'll take that cab. It's rusty, you can't see off of it. The original factory oak cage is under. If you guys watch that TD15C video, I got. Pedals, they start to come loose a little bit. Yeah. Pretty smooth. Needs lots of lube. Oh, yeah. Them cylinders are good. We're going to have to get those re chromed up there. We'll take those off. And they're all cleaned up. See what's going on with that track adjuster. We'll cover off, yeah. Some new batteries and go through it. All right, guys, got the truck all hooked back up. I'm gonna take it back here and let Randy spray the trailer off after big, get all the dirt and oil off of it. So that's gonna be about it on this video. We'll have another video coming out in this thing uh, later on. We've got a bunch of stuff to do, but probably gonna yank this old cab off and uh, we'll save it in case somebody wants it. We've got to rebuild cylinders, service the whole thing, go through it to make sure she's all working. All the hydraulic control levers are all stiff and pedals and all that good stuff needs a lot of a lot of love but it's got uh, a lot of potential it's basically like a new track i think it's got 300 and some hours on it but something you don't uh, don't see every day for sure so and the bucket looks like brand new on it they come out with this design in 1972 the international harvester did and had a 175b before that but come out with this in 1972 international harvester did then dresser bought them out in the early 80s and uh and then they changed the name to dresta in about 2000 or so i think this tractor is a 2003 i think they quit building around them maybe 2004 but uh it's an old school design but it's definitely tried and true and proven it's gonna make somebody a good old solid tractor for sure so we've got maybe a little bit of work planned for it in the future take it out and run it a little bit make sure it's all right so 
be some videos coming out in that but uh that's gonna be out be it on this one so guys like this stuff give me a thumbs up it definitely helps me out a lot so leave some comments below we'll see you guys next time all right guys for the four or five people that's still with me yet i've got a surprise for you i am going to give away a free cnc equipment sweatshirt here the new gray ones to whoever can guess how many miles it was that i drove one way from nashville indiana down to western tennessee to get this thing i took a picture of my uh, trip odometer so i know exactly how many miles it is so whoever can guess as close without going over kind of like the price of the right deal to that number the mileage going down there i'll give them a free sweatshirt so place your uh, your mileage numbers down below in the comments probably a month or so we'll get back with you and look through the comments and see who won